Lesson nine: Business idioms, Part one. Idioms are short phrases with meanings that are different from the meanings of their individual words. Idioms are different from slang. Idioms are in between formal and informal, so they are acceptable in everyday English conversations and emails, including some communication at work. Slang is very informal and is usually used in humor, music, and conversations between close friends. Formal English is used in official business, legal, and academic areas. Casual English includes idioms and is used in everyday conversation and emails. And informal English can use slang. You'll find that in humor and music. Slang is almost never used in business English, but idioms are often used in conversations and emails. So I'm going to introduce you to some common idiomatic expressions. This is the method we'll use for learning the idioms. First, look at the example of the idiom in context. Then, try to guess the meaning of the idiom. Then, wait for the answer and explanation. Why do I recommend these three steps? Well, it's important to try to figure out the meanings of the idioms from the context. This helps you think actively about the expressions and learn to understand new expressions faster. Ready? Let's begin. Number one. We showed the president twenty ideas for new products, but she didn't like any of them, so we had to go back to the drawing board. Does "go back to the drawing board" mean a) ask other people for advice, b) start again from the beginning, or c) reuse a good idea from the past? Go back to the drawing board means. B. Start again from the beginning. Designers and engineers often draw a picture of a product as the first step in its development. So, going back to the drawing board means to start again at step one of a process. Number two. Our sales estimates were way off the mark. We'd projected sales of fifteen million, but the actual numbers were closer to nine million. Does way off the mark mean? A too optimistic, B higher than average, or C very wrong or inaccurate. Way off the mark means C very wrong or inaccurate. This idiom comes from the sport of archery, where arrows that do not hit the target are said to be off the mark. The word way means very, so way off the mark means very inaccurate. Number three, the text for the article is almost perfect. I just want to tweak one or two sentences. Does tweak mean a remove, b make small adjustments, or c make longer? Tweak means b make small adjustments. I don't know the origin of this word, but it can be used as either a noun or a verb. You can say. I want to tweak one or two things, or I want to make a few tweaks to talk about minor adjustments. Number four, I need to submit a weekly report on this project, so please keep me in the loop. Does in the loop mean a informed or updated, b working hard, or c in the office? In the loop means a informed or updated. You can also say the opposite, out of the loop, if you are not being informed or updated about a project or news. Number five, three people from my department are on vacation, so I've got a lot on my plate at the moment. Does I've got a lot on my plate mean a I have a lot of responsibilities, b? I wish I was on vacation too, or C. I have nothing to do. I've got a lot on my plate means A. I have a lot of responsibilities. If you go to a buffet and you put a lot of food on your plate, then you are obligated to eat it all. So having a lot on your plate means you have many tasks or responsibilities. 
Number six. The rule of thumb is to reinvest no more than thirty percent, but it's okay if you go over that number occasionally. Does rule of thumb mean a minimum amount, b strict limit, or c general practice? Rule of thumb means c general practice. A rule of thumb is a general rule or general practice that may have exceptions in some situations. This is your thumb. If you use your thumb to measure something, you can get a general idea, but the measurement will not be perfectly accurate. So, a general rule with exceptions permitted is called a rule of thumb. Number seven. Bob said I missed the deadline, but I want to set the record straight. I submitted my work on time, but he didn't check his email. Does set the record straight mean a correct a mistake and say the truth, b express a different opinion, or c get permission? Set the record straight means a correct a mistake and say the truth. When there is a misunderstanding or something was falsely reported, you should set the record straight. Say what is true, so that people have the correct understanding of the situation. Number eight. We have until December to prepare these documents, so let's put them on the back burner for now. We have other, more urgent projects. Does put them on the back burner mean a send them back to their origin, b give them low priority, or c finish them quickly? To put something on the back burner means b. Give it low priority. This idiom comes from cooking. The picture shows a stove with four burners. If you are cooking multiple things at the same time, you put the less important items, which don't need your attention, on the back burner, and you put the items on which you are actively working on the front burner. So, to put something on the back burner is to temporarily give it low priority and less attention. Number nine, that program never produced any significant results, so the director finally decided to pull the plug. Does pull the plug mean a get personally involved, b improve the technology, or c stop or discontinue? Pull the plug means c stop or discontinue. The picture shows a plug. If you pull. Remove the plug of your television from the source of electricity. The television will stop working. So to pull the plug on a project or program means to discontinue it. Number ten. Yesterday's meeting lasted four hours, but in a nutshell, we decided to close our office in India and open a branch in China. Does in a nutshell mean a in an argument, b? In the end, or C. In summary. In a nutshell means C. In summary, when you summarize a lot of information in a short phrase or explanation, you can begin the statement with "In a nutshell." The picture shows nuts. The shell is the hard exterior of the nut. A nutshell is very small. So, when you put a lot of information into a small number of words, you can say "in a nutshell" to express the fact that you are giving a summary. Number eleven. Laura didn't go to the meeting. Could you send her a summary of the discussion to bring her up to speed? Does "bring her up to speed" mean a) help her work faster, b) give her the most recent information, or c? Find out what her perspective is. Bring her up to speed means b. Give her the most recent information. If someone is up to speed, it means they are fully informed about the latest information. So to bring or get someone up to speed is to give them the most recent information so that they can be up to date on the current situation. Number twelve. Don't make any changes without talking to Peter. He's the one calling the shots on this project. Does calling the shots mean a 
communicating with the supervisor, B, making the important decisions, or C, working very hard. Call the shots means B, making the important decisions. The person who is calling the shots is the one who has authority to decide what must be done, and other people must follow his or her instructions. Now take the quiz to put these idioms into practice, and come back tomorrow for your first progress test to review what you've learned so far.